Well, Rachel's in the booth and she's about to have a conversation with Gavi, Dove Award winner for Rap Hip Hop Song of the Year with Fight For Me. Rachel, take it away. Hey, Ogwavi, how's it going? How's your lockdown situation? So there's, it's a really negative time, but I found a lot of joy within it. Like I'm spending more time with my family. I have a lake in the back of my house, so I get to go fishing. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> we go walking a lot, um, but everything's pretty much shut down right now in South Florida and Broward County. Have you caught any fish in your lake? Of course. Yes. I am the best fisherman. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Have you cooked it? That's the question. No, you don't want to cook that fish from my lake. That lake is dirty water. Oh, uh, lovely. I just do it for fun. Yeah, I've caught a few fish, though. Nice. That's a good like hobby to pick up. Yes, get outdoors for a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so Guavi, tell me a little bit more about your togetherness as a family during this time of quarantine. Yeah, a lot of time is just uh, running around inside the house. Um, my daughter, she's four, so it's still school time for her. Yeah. Uh, um, we're eating a lot, yes. <laughs> which is not good. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, a lot of uh, Zoom meetings as far as like Definitely. friends, uh, work, um, Have you Bible guys picked studies. up any new games or anything? Games or activities as a family? We started off really strong on the board games, and then it just kind of died down. It's like, I'm tired of playing Uno. Okay. So now we're like on a Netflix thing. There's like a lot of cool documentary going around. Yes, Tiger King. Tiger King is yes. one of them. That's <laughs> very interesting show. Fascinating. <laughs> okay, so you have an album coming up on April 10th called Heathen. I, I would do. love to know a little bit more about the name behind the album. Yeah, Heathen, it's such a, a bold name. Uh, it could be scary or it could be a really great story of like a testimony. Um, and it's broken down in three different ways. So Heathen is obviously a sinner. And then Heathen also, the original Greek term is uh, ethnicity, different cultural background, and then Gentile. And I think there's a lot of different areas in that that I want to impact and share my story through that of what I've gone through where I've seen this word be thrown around in uh, Christian culture. Yeah. Um, I think one of my biggest missions right now is just to open and bring awareness uh, to Christian culture. Uh, there's a lot of things that happens that sometimes we don't even realize it and we're like, whoa, I just followed a tradition. And uh, I just want to encourage believers to really dig in the word, uh, dig in the relationship with God above all. Um, Christian culture is very important. Culture is very important to me as a whole. But at the end of the day, Jesus has to be the center of the focus. So um, that's my mission with this, uh, is not championing being a sinner, uh, but championing that God is your identity. Uh, people may label you something, and if somebody says you're not normal, say thank you for realizing that I'm set apart and I'm not normal. So good. And what, with that album title, I think it's such an open... A do an opening door to non-believers to just start a conversation about what is a heathen, what is a believer, what is a sinner, what does it mean Earth. to be saved? Yeah. Earth. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What perfect timing for your album to be coming out, just as people are looking for hope and healing in this world. Yeah, right now uh, we just released a single called Not Too Far. Uh, I was very hesitant to even release my album when everything was starting. Mm -hmm. And I thought to myself, I was like, I know there's a big thing going around as far as social distancing. And I was thinking this is not a time to be spiritually distant from God. So uh, with that song, Not Too Far, I just felt like the pieces just came together. God was narrating the story when I thought I was. Yeah. And we're not too far from God at this moment. Uh, we definitely need a lot of hope. This is a reality that we're in right now. Yeah. So I want to take away from that. Um, but I'm just praying for all of us. And especially, if, uh, I was just reading about the nurses and doctors that are, what they're going through right now. So definitely praying a lot for them during this time. Okay. Well, again, I really appreciate you just making the time for us. And for sure. No, thank you. Yeah. I hope you have a great, um, launch for your album. Thank you so much. Yes. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> Take care. <laughs>